Hello, my name is Dr. Christine Pierre, and I am a geriatrician in the South Shore area working in nursing homes and rehabilitation centers. I am going to share some thoughts as to why getting the COVID-19 vaccine was important to me. I want to take a moment to thank you and recognize your hard work and courage and everything you are doing to care for our residents now and prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. After a devastating year with the COVID-19 among our community, there's a sign of hope. The vaccine is now available to healthcare workers and residents in nursing homes. Soon, the vaccine will also be available to everyone, including our family members, friends, and neighbors. Given my background as a physician specializing in geriatric care, I get a lot of questions about the vaccine safety and efficacy. First, I want to say yes, the COVID-19 vaccine is safe. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration carefully reviews all safety data from clinical trials and authorizes emergency vaccine use only when the expected benefits outweigh potential risks. COVID-19 vaccines were tested in large clinical trials to make sure they met stringent safety standards. More than 70,000 people have participated in these trials to see how the vaccines offer protection to people of different ages, races, and ethnicities, as well as those with different underlying medical conditions. The vaccines cannot give you COVID-19 virus. It is, an, it is an mRNA vaccine similar to an mRNA technology that has been used in cancer treatment for 10 years. mRNA will not change your DNA. mRNA gives your immune system the instructions to make the defense proteins, also called antibodies, to fight the virus. It's almost like your immune system is your army and it receives information, which is the mRNA, to prepare to prepare a defense-like protection against a possible invader, which is the COVID-19 virus. Your immune system develops soldiers or antibodies that are specific to combating the virus. No corners were cut in developing the vaccine. Remember, the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks. Some people who get the COVID-19 vaccine will experience side effects, particularly after the second dose. The side effects of the vaccine appear to be minor and temporary. For example, I did get the COVID-19 vaccine and after my first sh shot, I did have a muscle ache in my left arm that lasted about a day. It was very mild. And I also had a headache for one, about one to two days. I just received my second vaccine and I feel great. I only had very minor ache in my left arm. Again, the same site that I received the injection. Overall, I'm feeling really good. Again, I just wanna reiterate, participants have reported pain at the injection site, fatigue and occasional low grade fever, headache or aching muscle in joints. These side effects fade within a few days. Also, I want to remind you that these side effects are actually common with all vaccines. They are a sign that a vaccine is working and triggering an immune response. It is also recommended that individuals who have recovered from COVID-19 receive the vaccine. People who have recovered from the infection may not have long lasting immunity and could become infected. So there are a lot of questions regarding pregnant women and breastfeeding women and if they should be given the vaccine. This is something that also concerned me when I was about to get the vaccine. According to the CDC, while studies have not yet been done based on how mRNA vaccines work, experts believe the COVID-19 vaccines are unlikely to pose a risk for pregnant people. People who are trying to become pregnant now or plan to try in the future may receive the COVID-19 vaccine when it becomes available to them. Another thing that I do want to add, which came from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, also known as ACOG, is that pregnant individuals are more likely to have certain manifestations of severe illnesses associated with COVID-19 infections, such as ICU admission, 
mechanical ventilation and death. So pregnant woman or woman planning to be pregnant in the coming months should consult with a healthcare provider to help them make an informed decision about getting the vaccine. Remember, it's always important to protect yourself first. Another thing that I do want to add that people were concerned about is the cost of the COVID-19 vaccine. I want to say that the COVID-19 vaccine is free. You will not have to pay for it. Your health insurance company will cover the administration cost. Well, I hope the information that I provided you with today is helpful. Getting the vaccine is just one step in getting the pandemic under control and getting back to a new normal life. We will get there eventually, but we all must do our part. Best of luck and stay safe.